Hello, Anonymous Acorn here, and today we're back with another video, except this video is going to be a different video. That's because we're doing an experiment here made by the featured Garrett Thompson, which you'll find his channel at the end of this video, or in the bottom, his channel will be in the description. Alright, so I'll do the material thing right now. Yes. Hello, Anonymous Acorn here, and I kind of just did my intro, but I didn't, in the intro, I didn't tell you what our experiment or thing we are doing. It is the mini forge or foundry. Now, this requires quite a few materials, going from a fire extinguisher to a PVC pipe. So the first thing you'll need is a steel or basically metal bucket that is like metal. Then we kind of picked this up just randomly. It was kind of just like a last minute thing. Then we have some plaster and in this bag, some sand. And then over here we have water, steel mesh, and steel mesh is used to keep all the foundries, plaster, water, and sand together and just like combine the materials. We'll also need a steel pipe, a PVC pipe, and last but not least, kind of sitting over here, a handle. Now, oh, you'll also need a container that fits in here able to require a uh, charcoal and your cylinder, in which case we're using the fire extinguisher. Now, uh, you'll also need a last bucket, and that's pretty much all you'll need for this experiment. So, and now we're going to be pouring the sand. I just did two cups of sand. Now, because our, so I'm gonna take this two cups, measurement thing. This one, that's four cups. I have a feeling we're gonna run out of sand. Six cups. Uh, you're recording? Yep. And now I'm going to measure out the plaster because we just finished measuring out 21 cups of sand. So now plaster. Paul, you can put them directly into the, into there, no. Oh. Alright, so see you when we're done with this. Alright, so now I'm going to mix the sand and plaster all together. Oops. So just make sure that you take out all the bumps and like keep it, make sure it's like mixed before you add in 15 cups of water just because you want it all to be nicely mixed and yeah, I'll see you when we're done. So now that we only have half like this and there's still this bucket tilting out. We can use our steel mesh to cover it in to hold this top together because we kind of forgot to put it in on the first layer. So now just edge it in here, kind of make it a little poofy or like standing up so then the thing can, the plaster and sand mix and water can fill in and hold it all together and it'll make it stiffer and stronger. After we put in the steel mesh, you need to make enough more plaster of just filling it up. Now, I've already shown you how to make plaster, so I just needed to tell you. Basically, put only six cups of plaster and sand in. So, yeah, see you when we're done. Now that you have the plaster mix in, make sure to put actually in nine cups of sand and plaster, but put in uh, six Keep cups going. of water or six and a half or around that. And then make sure you only have you a... You should pour it. All right, we're gonna pour it. It's gonna start to set. Pour it, pour it. Pour it from the side here, okay? Pour it a little bit in the middle just 
to make the base a little bit more. All right, that's good. Yep, and now we're going to start to pour it around the edges. Right. Um, this is going to be hard part, Ellie. You're going to need to help with the. Um, oh wait, get the. Uh, Steel mesh. Get this. Nope. Missing. Oh, yeah. All right, keep pouring. Oops. I'm going to try to go around the edges. That's not enough. Help! Help it come out, Ellie. Slow, slowly, sway, sway. those things in. Get more of this in though. This is all gonna go bad, so yeah, good. Get another one of those. Where's another one of these things? Yeah. On the side there. Good. Get around the corners and the edges here. I think what we should do now Wait. is rinse out this bucket really yeah, fast. Get the more, one more at the bottom there. All okay. right. Start to smooth that out. Are you keeping that camera steady? thing up. I'm going to try to flatten it out after I put in the steel mesh. We're going to remove this clay pot. It's just to keep plaster from getting into the okay. center piece. Um, we're going to need to fill this up more, so we're going to have to mix more plaster. So right. I'd say let's um, My hands. Okay, go rinse off. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so now we have to make our cylinder, in which case we're using an old fire extinguisher. We don't know if this will work or not, but well, let's go find out, right? Huh? What are you gonna do with that fire extinguisher? Cut it in half and make it into a fill. Yeah, cylinder. but what do we have to do first? Blow it all up. That's what we gotta do. And depressurize it. Depressurize it, okay. Let's do this! All right, so now we're gonna blow out this thing. It contains pressurized CO2, which means it's gonna be seriously cold. You can already feel it getting cold. We released the safety pin right here. And so, yeah, let's see if this, this works. Oh, it's freezing. It's freezing. It's shooting out ice. Can I try? Stop it, stop it and wear gloves. All right, yeah. Okay. Make sure it's depressurized, and then we're gonna cut this thing in half. See when we do because we used a pot not to get any plaster into the center of it. We're gonna crack this out right now. Well, that's so cool. It's like we're digging into an underground cave. This is like. the bottom out. Okay, so what you... Alright, so now we're gonna saw uh, my 
Wait, not mine. The fire extinguisher and have to make the cylinder for our, uh, mo uh, our, what's it called? Fire extinguisher. Oh, for, oh, for forge. the forge. For, like, the metal foundry made right here. Huh? He said it, Garrett, uh, a fire extinguisher isn't the best idea. We're just going to see if, from this is an it video, just to make, just to see if it's really going to work. See you when we're done. All right, so we finally did it. And check this out. Look how thick that is of solid steel. All right. So now that you have your plasters hardened, and well, basically hardened, it's nice and stiff. You might notice that it has it's all grindy and like it's all pebbles, and there might be like air bubbles. Now we don't want those air bubbles because if we put a more plaster on this, those air bubbles will get trapped, and as this heats up, it'll heat up those air bubbles, and the hot air will rise and explode through this thing, and we don't want that. 